everybody back with a brand new Friday review here on the Cabral Concept. Can't wait to get into today's episode because we're going to be talking about brand new research like we do every single Friday. The first one on helping with vascular based issues. So sometimes as people get older, they get varicose veins, they get high blood pressure, they get leaky veins. We'll talk more about that, especially as people get to their 40s. But also I wanted to share with you a brand new anti-aging or longevity based research report out of cell based journal that talks about the aging of specific organs. Really interesting, brand new. I want you to know about it. But before we get to that, always bringing you a product review as well, a book review, a product, health tech, you name it. Today, we're going to be talking about a new early detection cancer test and if it's right for you and if I'll be recommending it to my private clients. So let's dive right into the show. Before we get to all that great information, we're going to go over our recap for the week. So hopefully you didn't miss any of the Cabral Concept shows, but if you did, on Monday, we went over the perfect plan to achieve your goals by Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy was literally, you know, he's one of the greats in overall goal achievement, and I went through his exact plan for helping you to achieve your goals step by step. He was... You know, a great storyteller for sure, but he was probably the most brass tacks out of everybody. He said, this is what you need to do. This is how you need to make it happen and always laid out the plan. Very analytical. I think you'll love that show. On Tuesday, we went over lymphedema versus cellulite, how to tell the difference. So many people, so many women especially right now believe they have lymphedema. Almost none of them do. I want to go through and share with you why I think a lot of women are being lied to and it being called lymphedema when that's certainly not the truth. We'll go through it. Then, of course, how to eliminate whether it's a lymphedema or whether it's cellulite. On Wednesday's show, we went through the truth about caffeine, why coffee doesn't really give you energy. I'm not saying coffee is bad for you. I'm not saying tea is bad for you. I'm not even saying you can't get some caffeine, but I don't want you to think that caffeine gives you energy. I want to share with you exactly how caffeine works in your body so that you know whether you are, as I say, whipping a tired horse. All right, in yesterday's show, we went over how to calm catecholamines for deeper sleep. This absolutely does matter, especially if you're someone like me who can have a tough time turning off their mind, that the mind is always kind of cranking away and you want to calm that central nervous system at night. I'll share with you some tips as to what I do that's been really helpful for myself and my clients as well. All those shows are at stephencabal.com slash podcasts. All right, let's get into today's show. A little note though, that we're gonna be sharing brand new content on YouTube in the coming months. So if you're looking for brand new, cutting edge, short and longer form videos, head on over to your favorite YouTube uh, site, whether it's on mobile, desktop, etc. Just search my name, Stephen Cabral. You'll be able to find the channel, subscribe. We've got some great things, of course, all of it free coming down the pipeline. All right, let's get into our product review of the week. So this was an interesting one. I love, you know, I really, I always learn as much from my clients and students inside of IHP as I do from essentially, you know, the, the, textbooks that I've read, all the thousands of books that I've read, because they're always bringing questions. And so one of the questions from High Performance Health, um, which is an IHP-based coaching group as well, was, have I heard about this cancer check labs? And I said, no, it's not one that I'm as familiar with. Let me go check it out. And so that's what I did. And I said, I'm going to do a show about this. And I want to compare it to what I'm currently recommending right now for my concierge coaching clients. So the um, recommendation that I'm typically giving people now for early cancer detection that we talk about in High Performance Health. If you've never heard of High Performance Health, you can just go to literally highperformancehealth.org and you can check it all out. It's the most cutting edge anti-aging longevity based information out there. So I currently recommend the Grail Gallery Test. It looks at 50 different cancer types and detecting them at stage zero or stage one. That is our goal because at that point, 80 to 90 plus percent curable. Again, I'm putting that in air quotes. So I want to I juxtapose that against what Cancer Check Labs is doing. So here's what they do. Differences, the detection method, the Grail Gallery test uses a cell-free DNA fragmented source. So it's, look, it's literally looking at pieces of cancerous based tumors and then catch them really early. At Cancer Check Labs, they use 
whole circulating tumor cells, CTCs, okay? Again, I'm not saying one's better than the other, I'm gonna take you through it. Cancer coverage, Grail Gallery looks at 50 different types of cancer, although they do lump them into categories, where Cancer Check looks at 200 solid tumor types and subtypes, okay? Detection stage, it looks at early stage for Grail, Grail Gallery, and, uh, and the same for Cancer Check. Uh, results interpretation, AI-driven and tissue of origin prediction. So what Grail Gallery does is they say, okay, based on this DNA fragmentation, it's most likely pointing this specific organ or origin. That's where it's coming from, pancreas, brain, lungs, ovaries, et cetera, right? And then with Cancer Check, it's pathologist-reviewed reports. It's still probably AI-driven, but a pathologist is also looking at it. Grail Gallery is used in clinical studies right now, although neither are specifically FDA approved. So that's what I'm looking at right now is that Grill Gallery is still right now considered the gold standard, although we can't call it gold standard yet because it still needs to pass years more of rigorous testing because there's still some false positives and false negatives that, that does happen, but it is the independent winner right now. Cancer Check Labs has less studied, reviewed, published work on it, and it's the up and comer. So Cancer Check Labs might be the winner in the future. Again, I don't, I mean, I'm not sponsored by either one of them, and, and I have to choose the one that I want my concierge client, clients to recommend that I'm recommending. Again, they get to do what they want, it's their body, and what I talk about in high performance health. But right now, the winner to me is still the Grail Gallery test. Again, I can choose any lab that I want. That's the one that I'm choosing right now. And in the future, if Cancer Check has more published work and they get to be the gold standard, we'll call it silver standard because no one's really the gold standard yet, just like biological age testing, it's worth doing. It absolutely, like it's still worth doing biological age testing. And I can link, I can link labs up. So I'm going to link them all up here today. I'm going to link up Grail. I'm going to link up Cancer Check. And I'll link up the biological age testing as well. I will also say that the grill gallery test is about $1,000 less than the cancer check. And that's even with the $500 off with the cancer check. It's just a more expensive lab. Now, maybe it's worth it. Maybe it is. But I look at it as I still want my people doing a non-contrast full body MRI. And I want the blood work if they're able to do it all. Like that's, that's what I'm looking for. If not, okay, then I want the full body MRI. Once you start adding, you know, so the grill gallery test is anywhere from $750 to $1,000. The cancer check is $2,000 plus. So when we're looking at that saving $1,000 to 1500 almost $2,000, you know, I can put that towards then the full body MRI and it pays for it. So I can get the grill gallery and the full body MRI for the same price as the cancer check labs right now. Now, does that come down in the future or is it that much better of a test? Okay, then I'll recommend that as a kind of 1A and then 1B. So hopefully this was helpful. And that's where I'm at right now. And again, I use these things myself. So I'm going to continue to run the grill gallery test. Again, I'm not sponsored in like that. And then in the future, if I switch over, you'll be the first to know. I'll for sure announce that on the show. All right. Let's get into now our research studies. This was a great one. Saw this in Thorne's email. It said vitamin K2, specifically MK7. It's a, it's a very specific type of vitamin K that's much more absorbable. And I think this is an important one to know about because it's one that's written about in the literature. And so if you're taking vitamin K, at least for like heart-based, there's different forms of vitamin K, one's different for the bones, but MK7, menaquinone 7, MK7 for short, it's a vitamin K2, essentially, it's a specific form of vitamin K2, the best one to use for the arteries, for the vascular system, and that's what we're going to talk about here today. So why does this matter? Well, specifically, this study was done on women in menopause or entering menopause, and a lot of times that I see my practice, this is for men and women. So the study was done on women, yes, but it's for men and women because it helps with high blood pressure, potentially helps with varicose veins, spider veins, and much more. And I have a lot of questions from a lot of the individuals in my practice, many of them at 40 plus, saying, how do I get rid of these leaky veins or weak veins or these varicose veins as well as high blood pressure? Well, this study clearly shows, and I'll link it up for you, that using a vitamin K2 supplement, the same one in the daily nutritional support, as well as the vitamin K2, sorry, the vitamin D3 and K2, helps 
with this. And I'm gonna share with you right now. I'm gonna jump right, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. For people who wanna read the article, I would love for you to do that. You can read the research, I'll link that up. But the study found that MK7 significantly reduced the levels of what's called dysphorylated uncarboxylated matrix GLA protein, which again, like that's a mouthful, but it's a marker of poor vitamin K status in both pre and perimenopausal and postmenopausal women. And so what it showed is that the lower the MK7 or vitamin K levels in the body, the more vascular stiffness. And the more MK7 with supplementation, because they use a supplement of MK7, it slowed vascular stiffness in postmenopausal women. Among those higher baseline of arterial stiffness, MK7 further improved key indicators such as brachial blood pressure. That's basically your blood pressure taken above the elbow, right, on your bicep which is mostly what you do when you go to your medical doctor, right? They test that, but you can also run your own right at home with an Omron blood pressure cuff, which I recommend. That's on my resources page at stephencabal.com slash resources. And arterial distensibility improved by 13.3%. So what this means is that there's less stiffness. The arteries are allowed to expand a little bit easier, allowing for proper blood flow. This is going to help everything from varicose veins to high blood pressure to vascular weakness. So really important, but again, it's only one nutrient. I always say like, you don't wanna just cherry pick your favorite nutrients. You wanna use something like the daily activated multi or the daily nutritional support from Equalife that has all of your functional medicine nutrients. And then you can add more of a vitamin D3, K2, which is you know typically what we use in our practice, just as a liquid add-on. And that's typically just four drops a day for most individuals. And you're gonna get extra D3 and extra vitamin K2. I definitely recommend that for most people. But again, no medical advice, no medical diagnosis or anything medical based on a podcast, of course. All right, so now let's get to that second study. And this one is gonna be on body aging begins in early adulthood. This was a fascinating one. And the reason is, is that it's kind of thought that once you get past 40 years old, 45 years old, 50 years old, your body starts to age at a much more rapid rate. But this is a landmark study and it was recently published in Cell. So this is a big journal, big magazine, that reveals that different organs begin aging at varying aging, with some starting as early as age 30. With the aorta, so that's basically a big part of the heart, right? Your spleen, which is helping with your immune system, and your adrenal glands show signs of accelerating aging much sooner than the average middle life turning point of around that 45, 50 years old. Why this is fascinating is that the more oxidative stress, the more stress in the body, even at an earlier age, the faster the organs and different parts of the body begin to fail or they get weaker as they, they begin to age. And I'll tell you right now, yes, 30 years old, okay, now we see that, that's happening as early as that, but when I was in my late teens, early 20s, my body was rapidly aging. And the reason I, I know that is because I was so sick and my immune markers were so far off, I've elevated CRP, elevated homocysteine, and this is a trigger for aging in the body. So you really wanna balance your major markers like HSCRP, almost uh, basically high sensitivity C-reactive protein, homocysteine, balanced white blood cells. Mine were always in the low end. I had zero for a secretory IgA. And you also just want to make sure that your omega-6 to omega-3 levels of balance, anything to do with inflammation, because the more inflammation and the more oxidative stress you have in your body, the faster it's going to age. It ages on the inside and then it begins to show on the outside. And so I might not look like I was aging at 17 years old, 19 years old, although I mean, I think that I did because I was losing massive amounts of muscle and, and all that and, and swollen from the Addison's disease and various other issues. Uh, it catches up with you. I mean, it really does. Now, the nice thing is you're able to reverse this. You really are. With something like the biological age test, you can look at your rate of aging and you can actually reverse the rate of aging. So my rate of aging in my 30s when the biological age test started to come out was way higher than it is now. So my biological age maintains at least 13 to 15 years younger than my chronological age. And so while, you know, again, it's not perfect, it is a predictor of how your body's aging. And if you're aging at a rate that's faster than a one, you're aging faster than one chrono chronological year. 
right? And if it's slower, like a 0 0.77, 0 0.79, 0 0.85, well, then you're doing much better. You're going to fare better most likely because there's less overall inflammation that's affecting methylation markers, detox markers, et cetera. So hopefully this was helpful here today. I'm going to link up the biological age test. I'll link up the grail gallery test. I'll link up the cancer check labs test. What else can I link up? I'll link up highperformancehealth.org. And I will link up a podcast on how to learn more about your own biological age as well. Hopefully all this is, was helpful. I appreciate you being a part of this community. Again, be sure to come on back tomorrow when we begin to answer all of our Cabral House calls, which is our questions from the community. Take care. Thanks so much for tuning into today's show. Before you go, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I want to make sure that you're getting our daily content, not missing out on anything. Functional medicine, wellness, weight gain, weight loss, anti-aging, living longer, stronger, and all of the most cutting edge research. And if there's any topics you want to hear, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Take care.